Konnichiwa zab minasan, it's JJ. How is everybody doing? I know everybody's inside and I know everybody's going a little crazy. <sighs> Me too. Anyways guys, so I have a fun video planned for you today. I was thinking what kind of cool things could I show you of my life in Japan as well as show you about uh, what it's all about. And what I thought of was, hey, I got some videos of my old commercials I did. And in Japan, I've been lucky enough to be in some of the coolest freaking commercials here in Japan. And the one that I'm going to show you today is probably the coolest that I have ever done. This job was crazy. So all of the models, beautiful, 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 beautiful men and women all around the world from Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, uh, Northern Europe, Asia, everywhere. I was there like, geez, I'm kind of an average looking guy. I don't know if I'm gonna beat these guys. Or so I thought. Spoilers, there was three parts to it. So there was a photo selection, and if your looks are good and decent enough, then you get into the physical edition. So you go to the place where you audition and then you do your whatever they want you to do, whether it's acting or model walking. But this one, which was very rare for a lot of these jobs, is they wanted a model walk and some acting skill. So I don't really consider myself a model here in Japan. I mean, I've done a couple model shoots with some big companies, but you know, I'm an average guy. So they wanted me to do this walk back and forth and then when you stop, you know, you do the, or you know, you do the, or you do the blue steel. That was a horrible blue steel by me. That was a horrible blue steel by me. But anyways, yeah, so you had to do a model walk and they said three poses. I'm like, three poses? I don't, I don't know what you want. I'm a comedian. And I was like, okay, well crap, maybe I'll fail this, but I'll do good on the acting one. And the acting one, they wanted you to act like you were in space, you know, like moving slow. And I just went crazy. I like jumped on the wall and did a Spider-Man. It was like, Pah. A space Spider-Man! <laughs> but I did really good on that. But I was like, man, there's just so many beautiful people and there's actually really good talented people too. I don't know. And the whole acting and modeling community seemed to go down for this commercial. So there was like one, two, three thousand people there. So I was like, that's very small odds that I think they wanted two people. So two out of like two thousand. And I was like, oh, well, you know, I tried. But I got the job. And man, the coolest commercial I've ever done. And I've been doing this for about five years now and once this commercial was done, I was like, I'm never gonna get one as good as this. Maybe I dug my own hole because I still haven't. But once you see it, you'll understand. Anyways, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Whoa. <laughs> Look at the young me and that crazy hair. So notice this spinning? I'll get to that in a sec. We weren't actually upside down. So that's for Orihika Suits. You'd think it was for uh, Hugo Boss or something, but yeah, man, that was a badass commercial. Now you first look at it and you're like, ah, you know, it's average. But now let's check out the behind the scenes. Okay, the making of. Oh yeah. So you saw that hamster ball, right? We're gonna see a bit more of it. But uh, that hamster ball was still being set up when I went into the set on this and they had the blowtorch going and sparks flying off. I was like, I'm gonna die. But yeah, look at it. It's like rolling on this uh, circular thing. So if you ever saw A Nightmare on Elm Street, they had that circular room where the blood would fall down or the newest movie, Inception, actually used this rotating room concept. And the main guy here, Matsuzaka Torikun, very cool guy. I didn't get to talk to him too much because we're always so busy on set, right? And his manager is there like, okay, okay, hurry up. Very good looking, very cool dude. But um, he came in on the second day. So we had two days shooting. And on the first day, me and the other foreigner there, we got to play a room. We got to play around in this spinning room the whole time. And I loved it. It was, man, it should be like, uh, like a adventure ride at Disneyland or something. You're walking and it's spinning and you're on, you're on the roof and then you're flipping over. It's so freaking fun. I loved it. And uh, as you can see, there's the green screen. We didn't actually go upside down for that shot like Spider-Man, but. 
It was so fun, and those suits were nice too. I was hoping I got a free suit from that, but they didn't give me one. But yeah, man, that that wheel is so much fun. I, I always say if I get rich, I want one of those in my house and I can just play around with it. The first time I saw it, like I said, it was scary. I was like, oh my God, are they actually, you know, making sure it's safe? Because the main guy doesn't come till tomorrow, so are we just like uh, testers for this? <laughs> the pretty white blonde guys die, then we know that it's not good enough for the Japanese guy. <laughs> Bastards. That's what you did, didn't you? No, but seriously, we had one whole day to play around in that. It was just so fun. We just kept going like, turn up the speed, turn up the speed. And uh, actually on the shoot, they were asking us, do you want it to go faster? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, let's see how fast this baby can go. But the Japanese guy, you know, if he, if he got injured or anything, it'd be a big hassle, so they didn't do it. But yeah. It was so fun. And this just happened after the movie Inception. That's probably how they got the idea for it. But I was telling all my friends once Inception happened, like, that's my dream. I want to do this spinning room, like, stunt movie work. And I was just so lucky enough to do it. And it was just straight, such a great experience. And I can never forget it. And I've been in many commercials since, and none of them get that crazy. And I'm very, very lucky that I got to do that. But I want a job that beats that. But hey, I don't know what kind of thing would be cooler than doing that. That was just the sweetest thing. So everyone, tell me what you think. Uh, let me know if you like the commercial. Um, that hair, I think, took like three hours because as you can see, I'm not that curly, but they curled me up. And uh, yeah, it was just a fun time. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments, let me know. And if you want to see more commercials that I've been in, let me know that too, and I'll be happily to oblige. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Hona matana. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please hit that like button and smash like the Hulk that subscribe button. And please turn on the notifications to catch up on all the new cool bits I will upload. And if you have any room in your heart to support a struggling comedian, please subscribe to my Patreon. Just a dollar a day could save me from eating canned food. I usually just eat convenience store food.